and gentlemen, our next contestant, number seven, Toastmaster Ricardo Chude, the cheerleader. The cheerleader, Toastmaster Ricardo Chude. Toastmaster Ricardo, the screen is yours. All the best. Ready? Okay. Jimin Ang. Jimin E. Jimin S. Jimin S. Jimin I. What do we have? Nasty. What do we have? Nasty. With the recently concluded FIFA World Cup Finals, did you not cheer for your favorite team or maybe your favorite player, say, Messi? Contest master and my fellow cheerleaders. Have you ever watched some sports match like basketball or maybe football and notice how these colorfully dressed girls and boys would chant some cheers and perform some routines for the enjoyment of the crowd? Well, that's what cheerleaders do. They would cheer for their team as a form of encouragement. They could also do these cheers as a form of entertainment for the audience and in some instances in competitions. But did you know that there are many times in our lives wherein we also need someone to cheer us up? Someone who could motivate us to go on with life. Someone who could lift us up when we're feeling down. But I know someone who did just that. And his name is JP, a friend and fellow expatriate here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. JP was born at an unknown place, in an unknown date, to an unknown father. Growing up, he celebrated his birthday every 21st of April and had his birth year registered in 1988 in a place called Cotabato City, a third class independent component city in Mindanao, which is in the southern part of the Philippines. Way before he came to Saudi Arabia to work, he discovered that he was an adopted child and that his biological mother was terminally ill. But fate must have been in his favor because he was able to see and meet his mother an hour before she died. Despite all the hardships in life, he still made it and graduated as valedictorian in high school. But while he was in college, the father figure that he has known also passed away. That must have been so devastating. But life must go on. There was even a point in time that he wished to give up until he realized that he has found his passion. So he joined his cool cheerleading team. There he see himself mirrored in the eyes of his kids. There he can see the potentials of these children. So he worked extra hard without even salary or benefit for the sake of these kids. Rah, rah, rah! Sis Bombay, you can do it! That's JP, cheering for these kids. So they joined the national competition in Manila and won the championship. This paved the way for these children to pursue their higher education in some of the prominent colleges and universities in the Philippines. JP helped his, these kids' dreams come true. He then realized that he is cheering for the people around him. Several years later, he came to Saudi Arabia to work. He started as a humble salesman and worked his way up to the ladder of success. Being the talented person that he was, he joined a number of competitions ranging from dancing to modeling to pageantry, and he won in most of them. But the highlight of his career 
the recently concluded search for the outstanding overseas Filipino workers in Saudi Arabia, where he was awarded as one of the outstanding Filipinos to the story of success. He then realized that he is now the source of inspiration for many, an image of hope for those undergoing certain problems. And then came a moment of silence. And a big question popped in my head. Who am I cheering for? I cheer for my family, my son most especially. I cheer for him in just about anything, be it in school or in simple activities like in singing or playing the piano. I cheer for him because I want him to be the best person that he can be, full of talents and potentials. I cheer for my father and mother who, despite the adversities, have given us the best life possible, a life that is full of love. And I cheer for my friends to let them know that I will always be here for them, no matter what. At that fitting moment of silence, I hear someone whispering, hey, cheerleader. And then there was Jake, reminding us that there's a cheerleader in each of us. Some of those matters, I want you all to remember that the best way to cheer yourself up is to cheer somebody else up. And I know that I have a lot of dreams I wish to achieve, and I hope that someone can cheer me on as I cheer them on in their dreams. Some of those matters, I want all of you to be like Jake who did not surrender despite the difficulties, who turned all of his pains into power, all of his lessons in life into wisdom, and all of his tears into tears. Who are you cheering for? Toastmasters.